Okay, hi everybody. Lots of changes this time. Haven't done a video in quite a while. So we'll start here with the uh, 29 gallon. Lots of embunas. Embunas got a, a couple jewel cichlids in here. A couple peacocks. Some young ones. Some Johannes. Uh, these two jewel cichlids have uh, bred recently. I'll show you the fry in a little bit. This is my red empress male. This is, I guess, kind of my little grow out tank. This little fellow was brown a few weeks ago. Looks like he's going to turn into a nice blaze, sulfur head. Don't really know. Off. There we go. This was a nice find. I was happy to find him. Little baby jaguar. He's the only South American cichlid in here. Little jaguar. He is aggressive as holy hell already. Tried putting him in the big tank. He got picked on way too much though. So put him back in here. Hasn't killed anyone yet that I know of. Got a couple Malawi eye biters, little tiny suckers. Um, have well, started out with five, gave one to a buddy, so there's four. I have uh, two of the smaller ones in here, and two other ones in uh, in the 90 gallon. Not sure what he is, but I have two of them. Biter. There's a new acquisition. Tiny inch and a half, maybe. Probably gonna turn out female. I'm not sure. It's got a little blaze on the head. Reminds me of all my other females, though. Which I'm okay with. I'd like to uh, eventually breed at least some of the, the peacocks. That was a good find. This guy was nine bucks at PetSmart. What a good find. This is the 29 gallon, uh, filtered by my son's son, HW304B, uh, minus the ultraviolet light, bulb broke several months ago, so no UV, just the straight filter. It's a lot of filter for a little tiny tank, a pre-filter on there that's been working out great. That's the 29. These two red jewels. I'm going to show you their fry. It's my little 10 gallon fry tank. First batch of fry I've ever had. They're about mm, maybe four or five weeks old. They are fat and happy. It's awesome. First batch of fry I've ever had. There's, I don't know, maybe 30 of them. It's hard to tell. It's impossible to count. A lot of filtration, a lot of water movement in here. Some live plants, driftwood, driftwood in all tanks. Uh, two filters, got a, a bio wheel, penguin, whatever it's called, marine land. Uh, with a pre-filter. Little AquaClear uh, 50, I believe, AquaClear 50. So a lot of movement, a lot of filtration. Just did a water change a little while ago. So pretty happy about that. Next up, 20 gallon. Before everybody gives me a bunch of shit for having this fish in a 20 gallon tank, it's not a permanent home. This is my, I don't know, slightly larger than juvenile Jaguar cichlid. This is the first Jaguar I've ever had. Um, had him for about six, seven months. Uh, he's shown amazing colors just in the last couple weeks since I moved him into the smaller tank. He was in my 90 gallon and he was getting beat up really bad. Uh, his color was almost completely black. His fins were getting ripped up. Um, it's kind of 
ironic that my most aggressive species that I have turned out to be the one that was getting picked on so much by a uh, a large red Texas and a large uh, black belt cichlid. They just they bullied the shit out of him. Like I said, he was almost black. His fins were all ripped. I had to pull him out of there, so I gave him this 20 gallon tank for himself. Seems pretty content. Looking healthier than he ever has. More color. He had some scales missing. But he's doing much, much better. I feed him carnivore pellets. They're stinky as hell if anyone has any experience with that. You know, they will stink up an entire fish room. Now one thing I didn't mention about my little fry tank, there's a there's a little guppy in there. There he is. The one survivor out of ten. They all died within a few days, one right after another, which is not that surprising from what I understand. They're generally abused as hell and full of parasites. Got one healthy one out of ten. Now on to my pride and joy, my 90 gallon. Rescape it pretty much every week with my water changes. Here's my red Texas. Colors are dark. He's usually a little, uh, I don't know, more orangey than this. Here's my black belt, big bully. It's a mix of South American and Africans. There's Mbunas, there's peacocks, there's haps, there's <laughs> one bala shark, uh, one pictus catfish, and a rope fish. Those are the only three in this tank that aren't cichlids. There's my pictus. Rope fish is behind him. Red shouldered severum. I have two of those. There's red Texas. This little guy is a uh, green Texas juvenile. He fits right in with the fire mouths. There's 20 fire mouths in here. Red Empress female. I think it is anyway. Sulfur head, my electric blue. My Taiwan Reef, he's one of my favorite Africans. Beautiful fish. This tank's filtered by my FX6. And there's a Sun Sun 302B under here. It's one of my Malawi eye biters. There's two of them in this tank. Um, Jack Dempsey. There's four, four jewel cichlids in here. It's amazing how their colors changed when they went from a smaller tank into this tank. Bell shark had him in here close to a year now. Never had any problems with him. No one picks on him. Minds his own business. Green Terror had him uh, several, um, five, six months. Finally starting to put on some size. Looking healthy. Bumblebees. Bumblebee cichlids and bunas, there's uh, five, I th I'm losing track of all my fish I have, so maybe there's five in here, I believe. This red Texas was tiny, tiny when I got him. Smaller than, smaller than my little fire mouse. He grew so fast, so did the black belt. This is my OB, uh, one of the first fish I've had. One of the first fish I bought this time around. So he's about, I've had him a little over a year. Got a wave maker up top. 
the output to the FX6 is blowing left to right along with the wave maker. The good current flows across the top. Down the tank, and there's my intake to the FX6. My output to the 302B is up here. Inputs on the other side of the tank. Intakes on the other side of the tank. Got a Ragonite uh, substrate mixed with some pool filter sand. Did that over the summer. It's been uh, well, about two months. Escape changes constantly, but generally the same idea. Driftwood, a couple rocks, a couple fake plants. Surprisingly peaceful tank for the mix of fish that's in here, though. I feed everyone a mix of sinking cichlid pellets, floating cichlid pellets, large pellets, small pellets, krill, uh, frozen krill, frozen bloodworms, earthworms, insects, any. Try to keep them a varied diet. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.